This is a quick little overview of my problems that I've had with applied energistics and some of the workarounds that I've been doing to try and deal with it. Um, I'm pretty heavy into making UU matter, as you can see here. I'm collecting quite a lot of it, and I've been building quite a few solar panels. I've got um, three chunks worth of ultimate hybrid solar panels here and I have I generally want to have enough solar panels to cover nine chunks eventually um, and I actually do have about 900 additional panels built but I um, want to move this to a different area so I don't have everything up at the moment here but as you can see I'm 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 producing a fair bit of um, UU matter right now And we got a little bit of UU, 2.7 million of it, nearly 2.8 million. Um, however, I found that um, Applied Energistics stops making stuff after a while. Um, and I could not figure out what the problem was. I previously had it spanning a couple chunks. And I've now consolidated so it's all within a single chunk. Um, but it still keeps hanging up. And so to deal with this, what I did was is I'm, I'm auto-crafting massive piles of supplies to make the ultimate hybrid panels. I've got 2,000 raw carbon fiber, 2,500 bronze ingots, 5,600 iron ingots, so um, and 9,000 lapis lazuli. So there's lots and lots of stuff. Oh, an advanced alloy. You need lots of that. 4,000 some plates of that. Um, and so to, um, to deal with applied energistics freezing on me all the time, what I did was I basically used um, auto crafting tables to work around it. Um, and so I'm not really using um, applied energistics to craft. I'm using it more as a storage network. Um, so right here, if we look at the end cap here, this one row of blocks here on this end, we'll just look at the, just look at this one row right here. We have an ME interface that is supplying UU matter, and then the UU matter is sucked out by wooden pipe and goes into an auto crafting table, and then the output of that is sucked out by another wooden pipe goes into a deep storage unit and is accessible from the um, the bus for applied energistics. Um, so if I need a certain amount of stuff, I program it into a level indicator at the base here. So if we right click here, you can see that this will keep running, it'll keep pumping until there's 512 oak wood stored in the network. And here I will increase this to 1,024 for the moment, and you see that the um, pump starts to run. This is a forestry mod pump right here that can run off of the um, EU power, and it can pump stacks of UU matter. So you can program the ME interface with however many stacks you need it to output, and it'll go into the crafting table. So that will continuously output into the crafting table and fill up the network. And each one of these can be considered a separate builder. These do not interact with each other. So this is one builder right here. This is another and another and another and so forth. And so this goes all the way down the line. These are all auto crafting one particular item for the build network so that there's stock for it to draw from. So this doesn't have anything to do with the auto crafting engine and the um, the um, crafting CPUs and so forth. This is all generating raw materials from UU matter. Um, now something else I figured out here was that I could um, have it assemble things from multiple items by pumping into two items into one auto crafting table and I can actually cram these all together next to each other um, so this outputs bronze dust 
and tin dust or um, tin and copper dust. Yeah, tin and copper dust to make bronze dust. Um, and so these two output two different materials and it goes up into the table. And these two devices, although there's a pipe connecting them, it doesn't actually do anything because you can't suck out of a crafting table with anything other than a wooden pipe. So these actually don't connect even though it looks like there's a connection. So that's, that keeps the network topped off with stuff from UU Matter. Um, but um, then there's the, the more complicated stuff, which, well, for some stuff I can have um, patterns, that are custom patterns that will um, produce parts, but this, it keeps freezing, it keeps hanging for whatever reason. So it isn't reliable to depend on AE to just craft these things as I need them. This doesn't work. And for stuff that I need in large volumes, I figured out that I just basically have to um, build crafting um, gangs of, of engines to process things. Um, so let's see, if we look at this one, this one will produce iron dust from um, iron ore. You can produce iron ore from UU matter. And so this one will keep running until there's 2048 iron dust in the network. And I will up this one temporarily. We'll put it at 3000. Um, let's see. I guess we've got 3000 actually. Let's go up to 4000. There we go. Now it's starting up. So now you see the um, forestry engine can pump out stacks of um, iron ore. And actually the reason that um, there's actually a thousand more is because um, it doesn't, this process doesn't stop instantly. It actually keeps running for a little while um, when it tops off. Um, there is still stuff processing when the level indicator reaches the capacity, and so it just keeps on processing the stuff remaining, and it can be up to a thousand more beyond what I require. I'm just trying to meet a minimum requirement. Um, and so the materials pump out, they go across the top with insertion pipes into each one of these rotary macerators here, crafting the material, and then output into wooden pipes, and then into iron pipes which combine output and then it outputs um, and I discovered that you can use an ME interface for both input and output so it's pumping um, iron ore out of the ME interface and then the materials that are crafted are going right back into the ME interface on the back side um, and I found that this is actually more efficient than using an import bus Import bus seems to have a speed limit. This does not. So the material can fly as fast as we want through this. Now if you look at this, you'll notice that there's starting to be um, iron ore that is going back to the ME interface. Um, a problem I found is that these engines speed up and slow down. Um, when they start running, they speed up. And as they speed up, they eventually start overtopping all of these processors. And so what I had to do was I basically had to put an overflow pipe at the end so that, well, if all of them are full, but you want to keep them all topped off, well, fine. So we're going to have some overflow that does nothing at all except just go right back into the storage network again. But at least that way I can keep the machines fully topped off. Um, and um, now this one actually is kind of funny right here. Um, you need ridiculous amounts of coal dust. Um, so this has 2048 coal dust. We can probably go up to 4096. Yep, see it still doesn't start because it's got over 2000 in there. We'll go up to 10,000. Let's just go up to 10,000. Okay, now it will start pumping in coal to make coal dust. Um, and um, this is pumping 48 coal per stack into these um, macerators. And since you need so much, I have just a huge pile of macerators here. 
So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But still, that's not enough. So then I've got it come over the top here. We've got 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 macerators lined up here. And then these are also overclocked. We've got 10 overclocks, and it's running off of high voltage power, producing as fast as it p possibly can. Because um, when um, you're making ultimate hybrid solar panels, if you tell the system to make them, you need so much coal dust for the stuff. So, um, so I'm I'm, tr I'm trying to produce coal dust as fast as I possibly can in parallel here. Um, that's another limitation with um, AE when it crafts stuff, it will only just craft one item at a time in a linear manner. So if it needs coal, well, okay, make coal. And if it needs the next thing, it'll make just that item. But it only seems to just make one item at a time. It doesn't seem to make stuff in parallel if there's multiple things that need to be crafted for different parts. It does, well, I need one coal. So it makes one coal. And while you're doing that one coal, it takes time for it to traverse out of the pipes and through the crafter and back through. And now AE says, well, now I need one iron ingot. And so it comes and crafts and goes through the pipes and blah, blah, blah. And it's too dang slow. So that's another reason for building these machines like this. This just buffers up stuff so that when you want to craft it, it's already in the network and it just fires right out. So here we're getting they're all fired up here. See now we're having the coal transfer across over to these other ones. So this is just a um, a high powered pumping network for making coal dust here. And I've got several more of these gangs of engines. Each one of these only produces one item. Um, because if a machine is full of one type of material it will reject materials for another type so each one of these has to be built just to handle one item so we look here this is an iron ingot maker and this is an advanced alloy maker and copper ingot maker and a rubber extractor because you can make resin from UU so um, so this is my um, crafting network for auto producing stuff so that when you want to build stuff with AE. It's already in the network. It's already stacked up. We've already got 4,000 iron ingots in the network, so when you want to make it, it's already there, and it can pop out the panel fairly quickly. And it doesn't get hung. So, well, since I'm pre-crafting all this stuff, there's fewer steps, so it doesn't hang until you have processed a fair bit of stuff. Um, with all the automation that I've done here, I'm able to craft an ultimate hybrid solar panel in about 15 seconds, which normally, oh, you could be waiting a couple minutes for one to pop out, and even then you may only get one panel done before AE hangs up. Now this is version 10 here, but I'm using a mod pack made by someone else, so um, I can't really do anything about the, the um, version that we're using on this server. So. So this is my little AE project here. Thanks for watching.